If your PC won't boot, your drive's corrupt, or you just need files to disappear for good, this USB is your lifeline. These four tools are hidden gems in the miscellaneous tools folder of the Ultimate USB version 2.1. And today, we're going to take a look at them. Today, if you're not familiar with the Ultimate USB version 2.1, definitely check that out. Link in the description. The product should be tagged here. This USB has everything. Over 50 bootable environments spanning across 13 categories. You've got antivirus and rescue, desktop OS, flyweights, forensics, games where you have a couple of arcades, run emulators and ROMs, hypervisors, miscellaneous tools, multi-tools, win PE repair environments, network tools, pen testing and offensive security for all of you hacker nuts out there, privacy and security featuring tails amongst others. If you're down to go browse the dark web, obviously do that at your own risk, but stay anonymous with an operating system like tails included along with others on this USB Server OS, a few different operating systems there, and then I include some really nice Windows installation media. All right, check it out. Follow the series. I'm going category by category. I've also got a couple videos kind of highlighting the whole thing at a high level. Back to the show. Let's start off with the boot repair disk. This tool is a lifesaver when your system won't boot. Maybe you messed up your bootloader, the MBR is corrupted, or Grub vanished after installing Linux next to Windows. Just boot it from the Ultimate USB and run the recommended repair. Behind the scenes, it rebuilds Grub, fixes MBR issues, reinstalls boot config, and gets your system booting again without touching your data. It works on both BIOS and UFI systems and supports dual boot setups too. This is commonly used for scenarios where people are trying to configure dual boot or triple boot, which I have videos on, by the way. Uh, but that is easy to mess up, and then you're kind of stuck with a laptop or computer that will no longer boot. This is one of the easiest ways to fix all of that. You pop in the USB, you boot to it. It's the first thing that launches when this little portable Linux Mint OS loads up, and you just run the recommended fix. I don't have anything to fix here today, or else I'd run through it with you. But basically, it's going to scan everything in the background, and then you're going to apply the recommended fixes. Just make sure you're targeting the correct bootloader, grub, or MBR environments. All right, let's take a look at the next tool in this category. Next up, Clonezilla. And this one is seriously powerful. Clonezilla is what pros use to do full disk clones, system backups, or drive migrations. You can choose to clone disk to disk, perfect if you're upgrading to a new SSD, or disk to image, which saves your entire drive to a compressed image file. Just boot into Clonezilla, follow the wizard-like prompts, and let it work its magic. It supports EXT, NTFS, FAT, HFS, BTRFS, and more formats. So it works across Linux, Windows, and even Mac partitions. And yes, it supports saving and restoring over the network as well. Here you see the different options. Device to an image, a device to a device, remote source, remote destination. You can even launch it in a server or a client mode. So as you can see, this is a powerful open source utility used by the pros to create images, clone drives, or perform migrations, as well as backups. Very powerful tool. If you haven't checked out Clonezilla, definitely do some research and check this one out. On to the next tool. Up next, Gparted, one of my personal favorites. It saved my butt more than a few times. This is the best GUI partition manager out there. You can resize partitions, delete old ones, create new ones, or reformat all with a visual layout. Just boot in, select your drive, and you'll see your partitions laid out with color-coded file systems. You can resize NTFS, EXT4, FAT32, and more, and even move partitions around if you need to free up space. Gparted is perfect for dual boot setups, prepping drives for imaging, or just cleaning up messy disk layouts. Plus it's safe. You can preview changes 
before you apply them. This is what the GUI looks like. You can see different partitions of a disk right here. One common use for this that I've used quite a few times is let's say you have like a virtual machine and you're trying to allocate more space to the C drive, but you have that annoying Microsoft reserve space here at the end and you add more space and it's unallocated to the right of that reserved partition. In VMware, you cannot, I'm sorry, in Microsoft, you cannot expand in disk management the drive unless the unallocated space is right next to it. So this tool allows you to move partitions around and put the unallocated space next to the partition that you need to allocate it to. Talk about a lifesaver. It's got me out of some jams and some pickles, like I said, more than a few times. All right, let's take a look at the next tool. Finally, when it comes time to nuke your data, Shred OS is your tool. This boots into a minimal Linux OS designed for one purpose and one purpose only, secure wiping. You can wipe entire drives, partitions, or even free space using TOD 5220.22-M Gutman or custom wipe passes. That's correct. The Department of Defense protocols are at your fingertips. This isn't your average file delete. Shred OS overwrites your data multiple times, making recovery virtually impossible. Perfect for recycling drives, selling old laptops, or clearing sensitive data from forensic tools. Always, and I repeat, always check your drive selection. Once it starts, there is no going back. You have nuked that data for good. Now, if you guys aren't aware, when you delete something in Windows, even after you recycle, I'm sorry, even after you empty the recycle bin or do a bypass and quote unquote permanently delete the file, that file is not gone. All that does is remove a flag or a pointer to that file and tells Windows, hey, you can write to this part of the drive now because I don't need it anymore. However, if nothing gets written to that portion of the drive, that data is still there, easily recoverable with forensic tools or even some basic Windows utilities that you can just look for and recover deleted files. Shred OS makes that pretty much impossible. But again, always make sure you select the correct drive before proceeding. It's pretty straightforward. I'm not going to run it here because I don't have a drive that I need to wipe, but you would select the drive and then you would select the pass type, how many passes you want to make, and then you just let this thing go. And it does what it says it does. It shreds that drive. These four tools alone make the miscellaneous tools category worth it. And they're just a fraction of what's packed into the Ultimate USB version 2.1. From data recovery to OS installs and everything in between, this USB is your digital survival kit. Grab yours now at bootableusbs.com. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want more real tech, real tools, and no fluff.